We want to find dy dx given y equals the quantity 2x squared plus cotangent x raised to the third power. And then we'll also find dy dx given y equals the square root of the quantity 5x squared plus tangent x. So going back to our first example, the first thing we should recognize is that we have a composite function and therefore to find the derivative, we'll have to apply the chain rule. So when applying the chain rule, the first step is to identify the inner function. Notice in this case, the inner function would be 2x squared plus cotangent x, which means we can think of this as y equals u to the third and then apply the extended power rule given here. But to keep things organized, again we have u equals 2x squared plus cotangent x. We also need u prime, let's find that now. u prime is du dx, so u prime would be equal to, the derivative of 2x squared would be 4x. The derivative of cotangent x would be negative cosecant squared x. So we'll go ahead and just write minus cosecant squared x. Notice in our derivative formula, u would just be x, and therefore u prime would just be one, so the chain rule is not required to find the derivative of cotangent x. But again, now if we write our function in terms of u, we can write this as y equals, this would be just u to the third. And therefore, dy dx or y prime, applying the extended power rule, would just be three times u to the second power times u prime. And now that we've already found u and u prime, we can make our substitutions to find the derivative with respect to x. dy dx is equal to three times the quantity 2x squared plus cotangent x to the second times u prime, which would be 4x minus cosecant squared x. And we'll leave dy dx in this form here. Looking at our second example, we do want to rewrite this square root using a rational exponent. So we're given y equals the square root, which means the index would be two of the quantity five x squared plus tangent x. So we can think of this as being raised to the first power. Therefore, we can write this as the quantity five x squared plus tangent x to the one-half power. The fractional exponent will always be the exponent over the index. Notice in this case, again, we have to apply the chain rule where the inner function is going to be five x squared plus tangent x, which will be u. So here we have u equals five x squared plus tangent x. We'll go ahead and find u prime as well. U prime is equal to, this would be 10x. The derivative of tangent x would be secant squared x. So plus secant squared x. Looking at our derivative formula here, notice that u would just be x, and therefore u prime would be one, telling us the chain rule is not required to find the derivative of tangent x. But again, now we can write the function in terms of u we would just have y equals u to the one-half power, and therefore dy dx, or y prime, would be equal to one-half times u to the power of one-half minus one, that's negative one-half, times u prime. And now we make our substitutions for u and u prime. So we have dy dx equals one-half times u to the negative one-half, which would be five x squared plus tangent x to the negative one half times u prime, which is 10 x plus secant squared x. Let's rewrite this using positive exponents. We'd have dy dx equals, the numerator would be 10 x plus secant squared x our denominator would be two from the fraction one half. We move five x squared plus tangent x to the denominator, it'll change the sign of the exponent. So we'll have five x squared plus tangent x to the positive one half power, which would be our derivative function 
But if we wanted to, we could also write this using a square root in the denominator. Let's also show that. We would have dy dx equals the quantity 10x plus secant squared x divided by two times the square root of the quantity 5x squared plus tangent x. So these two derivative functions are equivalent. One's written using a rational and one's written using a square root. I hope you found this helpful.